Hello and welcome back to Santon. Today we're in the skies touring one of the most affluent and exceptional apartment buildings you can find yourself in, the Leonardo. And we're visiting the 33rd floor. Across its 400 plus square meters, you'll find four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and absolutely awe-inspiring views. All for 33 million 999,000 Rand. But before I show you this incredible home, let me remind you that you can find your home on privateproperty.co.za. And remember to purchase your tickets to the property show happening in Cape Town. All of the details in the description below. Hey, Sha, how are you doing? How are you? So nice Thank to see you, you again. Oh, yes. This is an incredible apartment. This is amazing. Well, come to me. Let me tell you more. Let's go. So here we are, the Leonardo. The Leonardo, tallest building in Africa, Chad. Welcome. It's incredible. The views are incredible. So much about it is incredible. It feels expensive as soon as you walk in. So tell me a little bit about this building. What makes it so exclusive? So this is the Leonardo, part of the Legacy Group. Um, so sister buildings are the Michelangelo, Da Vinci, Raphael. So all those sorts of exclusive buildings. Um, like I said, tallest building in Africa and the facilities are amazing. You've got the 24 hour concierge, you've got the gym, you've got the, the gym's actually double volume. You've got the spa, the hair salon. You actually have a nursery as well. Okay. Yeah. And you've got the five star Orem restaurant as well as the Alto 234, which is on the 5th floor with phenomenal views. So we're on the 33rd floor now and as an owner you get access to all of those things. You get access to all of that. Remember we also have conference rooms which you could use and yeah this is the presidential suite so one of the finest in the building. A lot of things are starting to justify that price tag now. <laughs> so we've spoken about the building, we've spoken a little bit about the area. Tell me about this apartment. Like, What do you like about this apartment? What would you say a prospective owner should look for if they're buying this specific apartment? So definitely the views. I mean, you've got panoramic views from every room that you go to. So definitely the views, you've got the security, you've got the um, admit parking system, which picks up from your number plate. So it's all seamless. You've got biometric access Very control. Cool. You've got super speedy lifts, which bring you up so quickly. Yeah, Chad, so this is actually a contemporary building with the city of gold beneath it. Absolutely, it seems incredible and Aisha, thank you so much for giving us some of the coolest apartments to tour here in Santon. I can't wait to show everybody what this apartment looks like and what a prospective owner might get if he shells out that amount of money for what has to be the nicest presidential suite I think we've ever shown on the show. Well, awesome. I'm glad you loved it and welcome home, Chad. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now that we're all alone, I get to explore and no better place to start than this kitchen. Right here, we've got a massive center island that marries Caesar stone countertops with some really nice raw wood. The color of the wood and the grain matches what you see behind me. Now this behind me portion mixes storage space with space to put in plug points. So you still do have some customization to a spot for your hidden fridge behind these panels. Very, very nice. Your Caesar stone, however, continues. You've got undercounter storage, a Siemens oven, and then your Siemens induction stovetop with a very cool extractor fan that some of you long-time fans will have seen before. Rises up out, illuminates your cooking, as well as does the job of an extractor fan. On my right-hand side, a built-in Siemens coffee machine, and just below it, your prep sink. And then there's some of the storage I spoke about. Your storage continues over there. You've got the beautiful white decking for your cupboards and then some really funky geometric arrangements that you can put flowers in or vases or anything like that, contributing to how you want to style your house. Now, if you're thinking this isn't a lot in this kitchen chair, it's 33 million, trust me, there's so much more because behind this pocket door, you've got everything else you could think of. You've got not just one prep sink, but you've got a full-sized double sink, plenty of under-counter storage for three appliances, plenty of above-counter storage for any of your dry goods, and then also plenty of prep area, space for another fridge, as well as a microwave. 
But then leaving the kitchen behind, we move into the living area. And this is really going to be the spot that's going to be taking your breath away or more specifically your guests. But looking through these windows, you've got four of them, one, two, three, and four. I think even you as an owner isn't going to be able to get used to the views you're seeing because really it surrounds you when you sit in this lounge. You've got the four access points, one of them being a balcony and that's closest to the kitchen. There are other balconies as we go through, but really sitting here, TV in front of you, plenty of space. We've got this massive L-shaped couch behind me as well as two armchairs, an incredibly nice rug. And then in front of you, that's your entertainment center. You really do get to take in the views almost as much, if not more than you'll be taking in the TV. Above me, bulkhead ceiling with LED lighting that continues in the kitchen as well as in the dining room area but over here is where it's at you've got a corner piece two armchairs strategically placed because even the current owner knows this is where you're going to want to sit down enjoy a cup of coffee maybe even enjoy a meal and take in the whole section of santon there's really not a building here that's taller than where you are on the 33rd floor and you can see for miles you can see all the way down to the mall of africa to the midrand airport and Really, I think you can spend so much time here thinking, hey, what building can I spot? Or what area can I spot? Where have I been? Most of them won't realize that you've got a dining room area that has 10 seats and is super, super comfortable. Beautiful chandelier, very minimalist and contemporary that suits this apartment. As I mentioned, bulkhead ceiling with LED lighting. And then this dining room table is without a doubt incredible. Plenty of space all the way around. And behind me, you have two pocket doors that lead off to very, very special areas. Your pajama lounge, your office, as well as your master suite. But we're gonna leave that for later closer to the end of the video because right now we're going to go down to that wing of the house there are three bedrooms in that direction and let's take a look at what the views in the bedrooms look like on my left you have a second access to your scullery and on my right hand side is some storage but right now we're heading into this bedroom Here we are, these bedrooms are without a doubt incredible. Every single bedroom in the house comes with its very own bathroom and every single bedroom in this house comes with its very own incredible and sometimes unique views. So let's talk about the main bedroom firstly. Obviously it's got built-in aircon, beautiful feature wall right here that houses your TV and then these stunning drop-down globes that act as night lights. You'll see here built into the backboard, you've also got some reading lights that you get to swivel however you like. Plenty of space throughout, we've got two armchairs here that fit very comfortably, nothing about this room feels cramped. And then down lighting providing that overall glow, I can only imagine what these views must be like at night with the Santon skylights. Over here, you've got a sliding glass door that also acts as your very own balcony. So without bulging out, you still get to have a little bit of air coming into this room. And that glass door is repeated in that corner as well. You can open them both up. You can take a look at the Santon skyline, or at least you can take a look down onto the Santon skyline, or you can just open them up and get a nice breeze. But then talking about the bathroom, you've got two access points. One exactly the way we came into the bedroom and the other one is right around this direction. And here we are within an ensuite bathroom of a spare bedroom in the Leonardo. Now this bathroom comes very well equipped with all of the essentials. You've got a double vanity, beautifully recessed in the same color Caesar stone countertops we saw in the kitchen. Got a walk-in shower, a freestanding bathtub right in front of a massive floor to ceiling piece of glass, letting you look out onto the whole of Santon while enjoying 
a really nice relaxing soak. And then for toilets, it has been hidden behind another glass door with some privacy tinting and really neatly tucked away. Beautifully equipped, really nice tiles as well as flooring, high ceilings, lots of space. Everything you could ever want. Then take a look at that pajama lounge office and the master suite. And now it's time for the main course of this video. We're gonna take a look at the pajama lounge, the office, as well as the master suite right here in the Leonardo. And here we are in the pajama lounge, although this could easily be a suite all on its own. This is your TV room. You get to sit down, relax in comfort with bulkhead ceilings above you, the beautiful ambiance created by that LED lighting. But then also you've got one of the largest balconies here within your presidential suite, so should I say, with a sliding door here, as well as a sliding door here, letting you out and not only allowing you to take in the incredible height, since we are on the 33rd floor, but the amazing view of downtown Santon. And now it's time for the office. And here you are, your very own office, and this is a real office, spacious with a couch, TV, you can fit a projector in here, but still continues those beautiful contemporary lines with the down lighting and the ambient LEDs. Yeah, would be your desk behind you, a nice display cabinet, as well as storage for anything else you might want to keep tucked away. You can fit a massive desk in here, maybe get rid of the couch, design it as you see fit, and I love the two entryways as well as the wallpaper. But we all know when doing a lot of business, coffee needs to be included, maybe a snack or two, and again, they've got you covered with this. All hidden away, but if you open it up, a full-on built-in kitchenette area with shelving, fridge, plug points, and even a prep sink just around the corner there. I absolutely love that this was included. You've got the lounge, you've got the office, you've got the kitchenette. This is, without a doubt, a fully enclosed suite made for a prince, a princess, king, or even queen. And when you're talking about royalty, you know it's now time for us to take a look at the master suite. And that's where we headed off next. We've got two beautiful doors that open inwards onto your master suite. This suite comes with, again, two floor to ceiling windows, as well as a balcony for you to enjoy those views whenever you see fit, morning or evening, a bulkhead ceiling with beautiful lighting, and a lot of the other design elements that we've seen in the other bedrooms continue here. You've got those drop-down chandeliers, as well as reading lights. And then on the far side of the room, you've got a wall of cupboards housing all of your garments that you might need to store. Because behind me, not only is another walk-in closet, but also your ensuite bathroom. This right here is your walk-in closet, a lot of space here, plenty of cupboards, and then two frosted glass pocket doors provide privacy when getting changed. What I love about this though, is it does have its very own aircon vent, so you know it's gonna be very cool when you step out of one of these showers. So a stunningly large shower for a home of this size behind a frosted glass door. On my left hand side, another frosted glass door hides your toilet. You've got a double vanity here with under counter storage, beautiful mirror that's very well illuminated, and then a floating bathtub off to the left just below another gigantic mirror. It is a super well equipped bedroom as well as a very nicely well equipped bathroom. With the heated floors and everything considered, you know this home is cozy, welcoming, and a beautiful place if you're looking to live in the heart of Santon CBD. But unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this incredible episode. Let's go back to the lounge and talk about how you can become the next owner of this amazing home. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. But before we head off, let's recap what you get when you purchase this incredible presidential suite right here in the Leonardo. 
You get four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and a host of other features that come with living at this exclusive address, such as a five-star restaurant and another restaurant on the penthouse level of this building. Then you also get a nursery, a gym, among other many, many sought after features. All for 33 million 999,000 Rand. If you'd like to purchase this property, please contact Aisha Sa from the Infinity Realty Group. Link to the property in the description below. And then a huge thank you goes out to both Aisha as well as the Infinity Realty Group for allowing us to tour this property and showcase it to you. Now, before we head off, what I'd like you to do is please like, share, and subscribe to us both on YouTube, but as well as Facebook and Instagram, so you never miss out on another exclusive property right here in South Africa. Or even better, hit that notification bell and be alerted every time we upload. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much. And don't forget to purchase your tickets to the property show happening in Cape Town right now. I'll see you there.